Last year, there was lots of talk about how over-the-air television was exploding in usage, but it's been much quieter here in 2019. We're going to take a look at some data to see how it's doing, and we're going to look at if young people are coming to the oldest of broadcast mediums, OTA. Let's get started. This is End Screen Noise. My name is Colin Dixon, founder and chief analyst at End Screen Media, and today is August 29th, 2019. We talk all the time about the flight of pay TV subscribers to online, but what we don't talk about is how many of them are going to over the air television. And so we're going to take a look at that today. And I've got some Nielsen numbers on cable, satellite and telco. And that basically that Nielsen says that they lost 5.5 million subscribers between Q1 2018 and Q1 2019. Uh, So where did they all go? Well, some of them certainly did go to over the air. According to Nielsen, the number of Television homes that use over-the-air increased 0.3% in that same period to 13.3%, and that's an increase of about 350,000 homes. Uh, Now, there was a much bigger increase in broadband-only households. They increased 2.3% to 8.5%. That's a 2.7 million home increase. And the number of virtual MVPD homes, that also increased a lot up 2%. uh, That's another 2.4 million. So it is fair to say that over-the-air television is benefiting somewhat from the decline in pay TV, but nowhere near as much as our broadband and online. So uh, so that's uh, unfortunate for over-the-air television. But uh, what about the young? Are they re-engaging the young? This is a really critical group for them. So let's take a look and see uh, if that's happening. Well, if we look at the numbers for young people, um, well, you have to remember that young people never grew up with over-the-air television. If they had TV, it was probably cable. For younger, they may not even have seen live television at all. Uh, So that's really a very different experience to the way most of us grew up, or or at least my age group grew up. And you can actually see it in the amount of television that young people watch. According to Nielsen, 18 to 34-year-olds watched 17% linear TV and time-shifted TV between Q1 2018 and Q1 2019. They now only watch one hour and 50 minutes uh, a day versus four hours and 27 minutes for the average person. The truth is that linear television is just not a very big part of the average 18 to 34-year-old viewing diet. They're watching many, many other things. So uh, what about in economies where over the air still dominates? Uh, Are young people watching more there? Uh, That maybe will give us a hint about what can happen here in the US. Well, again, there the story is not good. Uh, End Screen Media did the TV Universe report where we were sampling the behaviours of people in the UK, Germany and Sweden. Uh, We did this earlier this year, sponsored by Grace Note. Uh, and you can actually download that report for free from the End Screen Media website. Website, you want the TV Universe report? Well, what it said was that just 10% of people in the UK, young people in the UK, say that over the air television is a primary source of entertainment for them. Uh, that's just 10% of the 18 to 24 year olds. It's even worse in Sweden, just 8%. And in in a country where over the air completely dominates, that's Germany, even there only 25% of people, of young people, say that it's a primary source. However, in all three countries, for the 18 to 24 year olds, online is the predominant primary source. Uh, So 
it doesn't look very good for over the air in those economies and I've got to tell you it probably doesn't look very good for them either here in the US. Now there we're not without hope. Uh, I remember I talked to Shelley O'Connell who was head of marketing for Channel Master and Channel Master is huge in over the air antennas and, and devices like the Channel Master DVR uh, for over the air. And Shelley told me that what she was seeing was that yes, people left pay television and they went online only, but they would come back later to over the air because they missed the live component. Uh, so maybe that will happen, but I've got to tell you, I do, not, I do not hold out much hope for that happening with young people unless there's something very, very specific and that's the only way they can get it. Virtual MVPDs, well, they're just far more convenient, and if they really need it, I have a feeling that that's the route they're going to go. They can subscribe for a month and then cancel it when they've seen whatever it is that they wanted to see. However, we'll be tracking OTA progress here at End Screen Noise. We'll see you again next time.